Hey, thanks for choosing Student Face Smart Lecturing. In this video, you would be learning about common emitter configuration of a transistor and its input output characteristics. The figure shows common emitter configuration of an NPN transistor. Input is applied between emitter and base, whereas output is taken from collector and emitter. Emitter is common to both input and output. Hence the name, Common Emitter Configuration. VBB and VCC are variable voltage sources. The voltage readings are recorded using voltmeters VBE and VCE between base emitter and collector emitter, respectively, as shown in the figure. Current readings of base current and collector current are recorded using microammeter and milliammeter, as shown here. So, this is a basic setup of transistor and common emitter configuration. Now let's move on to the input characteristics of CE configuration. And to obtain this, there are certain procedures. Alter collector supply voltage, VCC, to set collector emitter voltage VCE to a fixed value, say 1 volts or 10 volts. Now, increase base current, IB, in small values, say 5 microamp, and record the measure of base emitter voltage VBE. Continue increasing IB. Till you get sufficient readings. Once you get sufficient readings, change value of collector emitter voltage VCE and repeat steps 1 and 2. Plot a graph of IB versus VBE, keeping VCE constant. The plotted graph may look something like this. Based on the observations, we can arrive at certain input characteristics. Input resistance is calculated as the ratio of change in emitter base voltage VBE to the resulting change in base current, IB, at constant collector emitter voltage VCE. After base emitter voltage VBE exceeds 0.7 volts for silicon, and 0.3 volts for germanium, the transistor starts conducting, this is called barrier potential. And this is that region, where VBE, exceeds 0.7 volts, and starts conducting. After barrier potential, small change in VBE, results in large change of IB. This means, VBE, has changed very little here. But, IB has increased drastically. Therefore, we can say that input resistance is very small. Here, you can also observe that there is decrease in IB with increase in VCE. VCE and VBE are positive for NPN and negative for PNP transistors. Now let's move on to the output characteristics of CE configuration. And to obtain this, there are certain procedures. Alter base supply voltage, VBB, to set base current, IB, at a fixed value, say 10 microamp or 20 microamp. Now, increase collector emitter voltage VCE in small values, say, 0.5 volts and record the measure of collector current IC. Continue increasing VCE till you get sufficient readings. Once you get sufficient readings, change value of base current IB and repeat steps 1 and 2. Plot a graph of IC versus VCE keeping constant IB. The plotted graph may look something like this. Based on the observations, we can arrive at certain output characteristics. 
output resistance is calculated as the ratio of change in collector emitter voltage VCE to the resulting change in collector current IC at constant base current IB. It is very evident from the graph that there is very small increase in IC with large increase in VCE. The value of IC here and the value of IC here is almost same. Therefore, output resistance is said to be very high in active region. Emitter base is forward biased and collector base is reverse biased. In saturation region, both emitter base and collector base junctions are forward biased. Here, the value of collector emitter voltage VCE range between 0.1 volts to 0.3 volts. Region below, IB equals 0, which is this, is called cutoff region, and here, both the transistor junctions are said to be reverse biased. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching.